This video is for adult collectors. Over the past weekend, I bought a couple Fantastic Four Marvel Legends from Burlington Coat Factory. I got each of them for a discount. In my previous Fantastic Four Marvel Legends reviews, I ran Thing, Mr. Fantastic, and Fire Lord. So I got two. Members of the Fantastic Four out and one of the villains out of their packaging. So next review. Uh, first, I'll get these figures out of the way. Gonna take a look at Psycho Man next. Uh, as you can see, the Fantastic Four packaging is the same on these figures. You see a picture of the Fantastic Four on the front. Nice insert with artwork of the character inside. On this insert in the plastic bubble, uh, you can see the same artwork on the back. Uh, you can see a nice drawing of the figure and his accessory. Uh, usually on the back, it shows the gimmicks of the figure. Uh, so, let's, let's see what it shows. She has interchangeable hands, uh, but it just seems it comes. Just get the figure and the uh, accessory with this one. I got a nice uh, bio here. Uh, confirms he's a Fantastic Four villain. I see the other figures in the wave. Uh, unfortunately, I wasn't able to get the... Unfortunately, I don't have the Human Torch or the High Evolutionary yet. Uh, I can see the sticker from Burlington Coat Factory. It's eight dollars, which is which is good because uh, Marvel Legends run about uh, eight. No, not eight. That's how much I got for uh, they run a little more than twenty to twenty six dollars nowadays. So eight dollars is a good price for one of them. So let's open this up. That's. See, it looks like there's some bit of tape with one of these. Yeah, it looks like all I think all of them got some tape on the bottom. Uh, except for uh, Fire Lord, he was in a different wave. And then it gets nice, uh What do you call this? Uh, safety insert here. Uh, all of them come with one, but uh, I think I only showed uh, this insert in one of my other Fantastic Four figure reviews. Uh, just shows you it's a warning choking hazard for uh, infants. Anyways, let's take a look at the figure itself. Uh, here it is. Let's look at the other Fantastic Four figures. Do like. Pull this out. Packaging. And then let's see it here. Yeah, it's it comes with this accessory thing. Uh, Uh, looks like you got some uh, negative emotions written on here, and and I guess he's just supposed to hold it in this uh, hand here. Um, not or the artwork shows him holding it like this. I'm not sure if I can get a good uh, grip on it here without stretching the thumb really far. Um, I'm trying to get this in here, but it doesn't s seem to want to stay inside his hand. Okay, that's 
good. We're not going to mess with this too much. Honestly, I'm not familiar with this character. Uh, judging by his name, he's probably kind of like Psycho Pirate from DC's uh, Crisis on Infinite Earths. And yeah, this is a very interesting design. Uh, there's these braces on his legs here. So let's see if how well the articulation works with these. Uh, seems to okay, hinder it quite a bit, even though um, knees are double joined here. Uh, what's actually pretty interesting about this, it's pinless, even though, and here, and even on the ankles here, uh, you got an ankle pivot, uh, till it is getting in the way. Uh, I think the brace is around the thigh, uh, cutting the thigh, so shouldn't hinder that movement. So, yeah, this is getting does actually get in the way, unfortunately. But you still get a good uh, range of motion out legs. I got some ab crunch here. Uh, the skirt also hinders it uh, quite a bit. Uh, I have trouble getting it up. Uh, could do like this, but uh, I would, but it's, I think leaving the leg up, what's sort of uh, leave it creased if I leave the leg up for a pe extended period of time. Uh, let's see if the articulation in the arms is better. Uh, I also get like a little more than 90. I get bicep rotation here, which is good. Arms go up, out. Uh, that seems to be all ball, ball joint, so. So get an almost decent range of motion out of this guy. Uh, Seems to be closer to uh, Transformers Generations uh, Deluxe figures articulation rather than your typical Marvel Legends. Nevertheless, I think it's a very interesting looking figure. Uh, I like the braces down here. I really like the shiny green colors on him. Uh, I think there's a bit of marbling here. Here, uh, I'm not really feeling any uh, crack here, so I assume uh, this is actually the color of the plastic and not paint, which is good, means it won't rub off uh, as I play with it over time. Overall, this is a cool looking figure with decent articulation please like this video and if you do please subscribe to my youtube channel that's it for my review bye